And once again in our own company, we've unveiled yet another winning combination. The combining of the customer service and the field engineering divisions. I'd like to welcome you to our new division, the National Service Division, a division I'm extremely proud to be part of because we brought together the talents, the dedication, the enthusiasm of the finest service people in our industry. The information processing industry is not only the most dynamic and the fastest growing industry in the world, but it's also the most strategically and economically important industry in our country. It's transforming our nation from a producer of goods to a provider of services. As that transition takes place, computers and communications become increasingly crucial, and our company has positioned itself to play an even greater role in this dynamic industry. With that solid backdrop, let's focus our attention on NSD, who we are, where we're going, and how we're going to get there. But before we explore those areas, let's examine why we're in business. We're in business to provide a level of service in the marketplace that enhances the sale of IBM products. To accomplish that, there are over 25,000 people in NSD. In addition to our headquarters here in Franklin Lakes, New Jersey, we're located in 290 branch offices, 12 regions, and 29 RAS centers. We have three education centers, two system centers, and three software support centers. We are the largest service organization in the country, the largest division in IBM and we support 11 major IBM business areas. Last year, our install base contained over 6 million boxes, and by 1990, we expect that number to grow to over 9 million, with another 11 million boxes in the service and repair centers. We serve a customer base that goes from a one-person business on Main Street America to large corporations that make up the Fortune 500 and everything in between. Over 33% of you work on typewriters, copiers, and workstations. Over 30% on storage devices and printers. Almost 8% on software, and about 23% on small, intermediate, and large systems. That's a quick statistical analysis of the division. Now let me take you on a tour. We're going to meet some NSD people at work, hear from some customers, and get a perspective on some challenges from division executives. Customer service rep Eileen Conklin heads into an NSD territory that includes hundreds of IBM typewriters in New York's Westchester County. The territories around here are uh, very rural, a lot of space between calls. You have a lot of very small businesses, generally an office with one machine or two, a typewriter and a copier. It's usually very picturesque. The people are very friendly. And you don't have some of the big business, all right, come fix the typewriter and leave type of attitude. They're interested in what you're doing, how you got to do what you're doing. You find all kinds of interesting types of businesses that you won't find in your standard city. Well, the DIN, you, that's not, doesn't mean it's the East German equivalent. It just means it's West. Do you want me to show, demonstrate what I mean? Sure. We are consulting metallurgical engineers. And our stock and trade are reports. We issue detailed reports that answer the question, why did it break? Why did it corrode? They have pictures, they have tables, and each one is custom made. So if that typewriter goes down, we can't put out our report. The typewriter is the key to our work. And the service that we've had from you people uh, is excellent. In New York, the NSD Eastern Region is headed by Vice President and Region Manager Jerry Riley. The customer is going to be looking for a single service focus that they can go to uh, somebody in IBM and get a service problem resolved. We will be shipping uh, to our customers uh, products in the hundreds of thousands and millions. The so-called HVLC, the high volume low cost products, uh, will be, you know, just uh, very, very numerous. And some will be standalone, but many will be connected. And once connected to a network, it's uh, uh, imperative that we are able to provide the customer a single uh, focal point, if you will, for their service needs. 
having a separate division name and a separate division number uh, puts a, a barrier that is a fairly substantial barrier uh, because you have two essentially different uh, systems of operation. With that barrier gone, uh, you have a situation where branches will be able to cooperate a lot more for the good of the division as a whole. One of the things I emphasized when I came into uh, this job shortly after, we had a, a meeting with all of the branch managers, and I asked them that what they ought to do is have a buddy system, that they ought to put aside a couple of hours a week, go sit down with their neighbor from either FE or CS, and review how they do business. One day you're two divisions, and the next day you're one division. But at the field level, where the people are taking service calls and handling the administrative duties in a branch office, the change is more evolutionary. I think the... Uh, uh, the, the typical approach of a CE or a CSR, as well as a first line manager or a branch manager in service, is that uh, the deed is done, let's get on with it. I'm sure there'll be churn and there'll be change, but we thrive on it. And my view is, is that uh, uh, if I had to trade places with anybody, I'd like to trade places with a CE or a CSR. In Muskegon, Michigan, an ambulance races to save the life of an accident victim. Its destination, the emergency room at Hackley Hospital. This Hackley is currently moving a 28-year-old male, no position, patient involved in a 1050 motorcycle, landing on his head. On arrival, patient blood pressure was There is no time to lose. Hackley's trauma team, notified by the ambulance driver, is ready to rush into action. Please call the administrative office. Good morning. Did we get uh, blood gases? About uh, four units typing across. CBC. Of crucial importance are emergency procedures ordered by the doctor and relayed to a display terminal to other departments in the hospital. The terminal is just one of 165 IBM devices connected to a System 38. Hackley's Director of Information Systems, Jack McCloskey. The IBM service was a contributing factor to our selection of the System 38 and to the IBM product line. That we rely heavily on the system. We run 24 hours a day, seven days a week. When we do encounter a problem, we want to know that it will be fixed as soon as possible. And our experience has been that uh, IBM is generally here within 30 to 45 minutes once we initiate the phone call to maintenance. As our dependence of the computer increases, so does the dependence on the availability of, of maintenance and uh, repair facilities to be close at hand to get us back up and running when the need rises. What type of equipment are you calling about? Yeah. Typewriter. And your name, please? This is the NSD Region Administration Support Center in Jericho, Long Island. Joe Black, Director of Administration, with responsibility for the overall efficiency and effectiveness of NSD administration, is here getting a first-hand view of this operation. How many calls do you handle a day? Just say an average. An average of 170. 170. Administration is a very exciting place to be. And as a result of the reorganization, Joe and his staff have a lot of work to do. Their first priority is the consolidation of the RAS centers, which has already started. They've got a lot of emphasis in the area of business controls, and audit readiness programs, with a goal of having the best controls and audit posture in the corporation. And I know I can count on your support in this important area. Next, Joe and his team are planning a lot more education, job-related, as well as development programs. You'll see some hiring this year in certain areas, and we'll be adding administration managers in some locations. As you can see, Administration is filled with lots of challenge and opportunity, and you can be very excited about the future. Rockwell International, designer and manufacturer of the world's only reusable spaceship, the Space Shuttle. Here in a hangar in the California desert, 
a new shuttle is being built. All work is monitored by a complex IBM computer network. Key to the shuttle's durability are these tiles, each made to computer specifications, like everything else on the shuttle. Underneath the craft, technicians are applying 24,000 tiles to the shuttle skin. Keeping the shuttle's design and manufacturing on schedule and on budget is a responsibility shared by Rockwell and IBM. Rockwell's manager of information systems operations, Dick Kerner. The maintenance is the, is the key. Uh, the systems must be reliable and they must be up. Uh, if we have problems, the response has to be uh, almost instantaneous. Our experience with uh, IBM in their ability to deliver the kind of maintenance service we need uh, has been excellent. The impact of a, of a major outage would be widespread and, and it would be catastrophic. The uh, systems must perform. Uh, we uh, measure those things in terms of minutes and, uh, and hours. Uh, in fact, uh, it is our calculation that an outage of an hour will cost uh, Rockwell well over $100,000 in, in uh, lost computer uh, production. To the corporation, uh, there's probably no way to, to calculate the, the loss. We have extremely high quality standards. Uh, we couldn't put a shuttle uh, in, in the air uh, without uh, just uh, perfect uh, precision and uh, every use of uh, high technology that we can manage. We expect that uh, IBM, as our partner in that effort, has to achieve those same standards of quality. And uh, where we used to talk in terms of 98% uh, reliability and uptime, we're now looking at almost 100% uptime. Now let's look at some of the other projects that we'll be working on this year. We're going to beef up technical education for both management and non-management. You'll see a lot of cross-training this year. We've got a lot of work to do in information systems, and that's well on its way. I put a special group in place, and they're reporting to me weekly on their progress. We've got a lot of work to do in the area of business controls, and I'll be paying particular attention to this area. Security will be another one of my key focus items. Security is everybody's business. And finally, quality. We've made tremendous progress, but let's not become complacent. This is not just a program. It's got to be ingrained in each and every action that we take, each and every day. So let's continue to keep quality first and strive to meet our goal of error-free service to every customer every time. Those are our key focus items and projects for the year. Of course, that list is not complete. It doesn't include everything, but it encompasses most of the major items. Let's not be overwhelmed by the work to be done. We've got a lot of time, but more important, we've got the best people in the industry and the most creative talent available, which makes me very confident that we'll accomplish our mission in a planned, orderly, and thoughtful fashion. Productivity in, in your division uh, uh, has been uh, really extraordinary. And uh, I expect it to continue to be that way because the technology permits it and the uh, people are smart enough and creative and ingenious enough to uh, exploit it to the hilt. And with this new uh, amalgamation of all the resources that are, uh, that all of our service resources in one single place, gives you the flexibility to exploit it with, with ease, without any organization bound. We have the winning combination, so let's make it a great 1985. One and one, 
together make more than two. Stronger and wiser, much better than each could do. Feel the power.